Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, makers of the finest monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. Hey guys, welcome to this episode's Rigging Station. I'm Captain Mike and you're watching Florida Sport Fishing TV, where if you're just catching up, we're out here doing some kite fishing. Captain Carlos and I are aboard our CB370Z. And I'll tell you what, we've had a really action-packed day. We've caught a number of sailfish. We had some gaffer dolphin in the spread, jump on our kite baits as well. Really a lot of fun. Wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the tackle that we're fishing here in detail. Seven foot Chaos KC 15 to 30 rod, rated for 15 to 30 pound line. It is a composite rod, really sensitive, but super strong as well. Matched to a Daiwa size 50 black and gold star drag reel. Real simple, affordable, couple hundred bucks, 220 something like that they've got a smooth drag and a really fast retrieve and that's really important when that fish grabs that bait the line pops out of the uh, clip up on the kite and you've got to reel up all of that slack that high speed is essential from there the reel is loaded with 500 yards of 20 pound diamond line fresh line every time super important even if the top 100 yards is fresh you've got to maintain your line the first thing we do is just slide a little ceramic ring right up on the line. This is what connects to your release clip, a float. These come in a variety of different shapes and sizes. This is just a typical size. I like to use different color floats so I can monitor my different baits a little bit easier. From there, just a really small diamond ball bearing snap swivel rated for 75 pound test, okay? But it's really tiny, but it's very strong. We connect 12 feet of diamond presentation fluorocarbon to that, and we finish things off with about 18 to 20 inches of number five wire. If we were strictly sail fishing, we would avoid the wire, but there's king mackerel out here, there's wahoo out here. I don't wanna lose a chance at a quality fish. So whenever we're kite fishing in these conditions, we always add that short trace of wire. Finally, we've got an 80 VMC live bait hook. Strong, small profile, perfect for the variety of species that you're gonna tangle with out here. Another dolphin on my short. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Kite fishing can be super exciting as long as you're well prepared and you're dialed in. If you're not ready, don't go out and waste your time.